Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we'll be making oil and water prints. For this project you will need some water, some vegetable oil, your food coloring, some small dishes with a lip. I'm going to use some Tupperware that I have, but you could use anything like a pie plate or a baking dish or even a bowl. You'll want some paper. I cut my paper using some scissors so that it's small enough to fit inside of my container. You'll want some small bowls, some spoons, and a place to put your prints as they dry. I'm just using a baking sheet with some paper towel. I'd recommend either paper towel or another sheet of paper for drying your prints. If you want to use something like a cloth, please know that the oil will probably stain the cloth. So make sure it's okay with your grown up before you use something like a dishcloth to dry your prints on. You can go ahead and pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way. The first thing I did was I cut my paper down to make sure that it was small enough to fit inside of the container that I'm using. After I cut down several sheets of paper so that I can make lots of prints, I'm ready to get started. I'm going to show you two different ways to make oil and water prints. The first one, you start with your container and your paper. Grab your water and pour just enough to cover the bottom of your container. It doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to cover the bottom. Then grab your food coloring, choose whatever color you want to make your prints. And you're going to add in a good amount. You want the color of your water to be pretty dark for this part. Grab your spoon and carefully and gently mix the food coloring and the water until it's all mixed together. Once it's all mixed together, grab one of your small bowls, and if you need your grown-up to help you, have them help you pour a little bit of oil into your small bowl. You don't need a lot. Then you can take your spoon and carefully scoop up a little bit of oil and gently drop it on the surface of your water. The oil and the water repel each other. So can you see the droplets of oil that are on top of the surface of my water? Then I'll grab a sheet of paper and gently place it on top. Do you see how the oil is absorbing in some of the spots? Then I'll carefully pick it up off of the top of my water. That looks really cool. Do you see how the oil repelled or made the water go away from it in certain spots? Let's try another one. I'm going to set that one on my drying plate and I'll do one more right here. So here are the areas that the oil is absorbing or soaking into the paper and these are the areas that there's just water underneath. Whoa, that one looks really cool too. You can use this water several times and make a bunch of different prints. I'll show you the second way that you can do oil and water prints now. For this, you'll start the same way. Get a container and your small pieces of paper, and then grab some water and pour in a thin layer. You don't need a lot. Then 
This is the different part. Instead of putting your food coloring in the water, you're going to put it in the oil. So I'll get a little more oil for my bowl. Choose the color of food coloring that I want. And add in a few drops. Do you see how the oil and the food coloring don't mix very well either? That's because the food coloring is water-based as well, so the oil and the food coloring also repel each other. But if you mix them up, the food coloring will get suspended or turn into little tiny bubbles that float inside of the oil. Watch. Do you see how the oil is now full of tiny little food coloring bubbles? That's pretty cool. So I'll take my spoon and gently scoop up some of the food coloring bubbles and drop them on the surface of my water. It's okay if some of them float to the bottom and get into your regular water on the bottom and turn it a little blue. Now I'll lay a piece of paper on top and watch it's absorbing and gently lift it off. Do you see how some of the areas of food coloring have made a little tiny spots inside of where the oil is? And around here, the food coloring has gotten into the water a little bit too. I'm going to set this one aside to dry and I think I'm going to add a second color in here too. So I'll grab another little bowl, grab a little bit more oil, grab a different color of food coloring, drop some in, and do another spoon and we'll mix it all up again. Once I have my food coloring suspended or in little tiny droplets in my oil, I'll gently drop some onto the surface of my water. Do you see how they're floating in there? Then I'll pick a spot that I think looks cool and I'll place down my piece of paper. Then I'll carefully pick it back up there's some spots that stuck. Let's do another one and see if we can get some of the green. I'll try for right here. Whoa, that part looks really cool where the green and the blue and the oil are all mixing together. Try doing a bunch of different ones of your prints and see which ones you like best. You will need to let your prints dry overnight so that they aren't all wet and oily before you can touch them. I'll show you some that I did yesterday. Here's some that I used doing the second technique. Do you see where the little spots of food coloring are in where the oil spots are? and some areas where it marbled or mixed together in the background. That looks pretty cool. And here are some that I did with the colored water and the oil floating on top. Those ones look awesome too. You can try lots of different colors and variations and see what you like best. Well, I hope you enjoy making lots of oil and water prints, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!